Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We review anything and everything. Today we're getting we're taking a quick look at a belt. Um, now this belt design is a ratcheting type of design. For those who aren't really familiar with that, essentially you're not putting the belt into your standard kind of loop and buckle setup, which over time causes the belts to wear. So I have tried out this type of belt for a while now, and I actually really like it. I'm a big fan of it. And so we'll get into, um, you know, the dynamics of it along with, I'm going to have the link in the description down below where you could purchase this on Amazon. So just so you could see the name of the brand for this one, it's called Shaoren. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but like I said, it's going to be a link in the description. So, so I have two belts here, but one, which you just, I just showed you the, uh, leather belt part. For this buckle, I didn't have. I was adjusting the size, so I didn't want to put it on yet because it's easier for me to show off the buckle um, and how that works. But um, here you could see this one has the open design, and this one is a closed design. And these actually both function slightly differently, and I'm going to show you the difference in how they function. Now they're not expensive belts by any means. They're dress belts, but I definitely feel that, um, you know, when it comes to belts, you know, some people can buy expensive belts that have this fancy name brand, but some people can go low key where they just want the nice look and it doesn't have to be this crazy name brand. They don't have to pay an arm and a leg. But I think what's really nice about these ratcheting type of belt designs, let me show you that now, how it works. You take it, you bring it into it like that, and then make sure you go into the second loop, and then you're gonna hear that click when it starts catching, and now it's locked in, and when you wanna open it up, you lift the buckle outwards, and then you pull it out. Now, what I was gonna say is that this design I feel will make these belts, I know from experience, will make these belts last longer where you don't have that typical thing you have in most belts where when you have your typical buckle, you got to pull this way back to get the buckle in. It starts all that wear and tear of voice pulling it back. You start getting creases and the holes start tearing apart. The leather starts falling apart. Though these are not super expensive, super flashy belts, they maintain their their structure and less wear on them over time. So it stays looking nicer for longer. So with that concept in mind, what would be better having a fancy expensive belt that's probably like 50, 60, $70, $100, whatever they go for with some kind of um, you know name brand of the buckle. But then after maybe a month or two months of wearing it, three months of wearing it, you start seeing the wear on it or a non-fancy brand belt, name brand belt, but it still looks brand new after you've wore it for a while. And this one I've been wearing for well over six months, and you can see that it doesn't have a problem in terms of the wear where you would normally get here. And here you can see the design on it up close. Nothing over the top, nothing super special, nothing fancy, but you know it's nice, it's a clean design. And here you would see how you do the uh, measurements. You cut it to your size. Now this one here, which I like the design on this, they had a little kind of pattern, texture type of pattern, even though it's a smooth surface. With this one, where the other one you would pull on, pull on the buckle outwards to make it release from the ratcheting mechanism, this one you just use the switch. So when you pull that, it has the same effect as that one does when you pull it outwards. So you can see here, you can see it in there. Yeah, you can see that. That's releasing from the ratcheting effect. You can't see it that well, but. So that mechanism there would just do that. So this one doesn't have that two-part um, buckle where you have the base and then the top part. It's just the top part and then this little mechanism right there. But nonetheless, like I said, I like these. I definitely recommend them. 
I'm going to throw a link uh, in the description for you to purchase it on Amazon. But essentially, I would say these things go for about like maybe $14, maybe $20 at best. It's really nice. I definitely recommend it. I'm not big on uh, just me particular, nothing against it, but I'm not big on having some super fancy expensive belt. You can do that. Um, but, you know, maybe there are other expensive belts that have ratcheting systems, whatever. But I definitely recommend this product in regards to that, because like I said, uh, it, the wear and tear, I used to hate it with belts and I would have it happen all the time, whether it's with my dress belts, whether it was with uh, just my normal just everyday belts, the wear and tear would always add up and they start looking nasty and you got to get a new belt. So, yep. As always, you guys share, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.